Hey there, my name is Kelly Dale with Off the Beaded Path, and this is your Must Know Monday for Monday, July the 24th. A question that I'm asked several times a week is all about stretch cord. Um, you know, do you use stretch cord? Why do you use stretch cord? Um, you know, what's the best stretch cord to use? You know, I'm so afraid it's going to break, and on and on and on. So today, I'm going to give you a little education on stretch cords. So here we go. There are two brands that we carry here in our store that I feel confident using. The first brand is called Opalon, okay, and this is what it looks like right here. This is a stretch fiber, okay, so instead of being a plastic, this is a fiber. So you can see that it's white, first of all, and it's got a really, really good stretch to it. Now, as far as I know, the only size that this opal line comes in is a 0.7 millimeter, which is a really, really good size to use. Basically, what that means is you're going to have a hard time getting uh, seed beads on there, but anything else you would be okay with. You can use a big eye needle with this to help thread your beads. The only drawback I have to this product, well, actually two. Number one is it's not good for heavy beads. So if you have a larger, heavier bead, it's not going to be great for that. And number two is because it is a fiber, it will shred. Okay, so if you're using it and you kind of, you know, um, pull it too hard or you have a bead that kind of have a rough inside to it, it will shred that and you will be able to see it. So those are the two drawbacks to using the Opalon. I will tell you though, with the Opalon, it ties very easy. So it's super easy to tie and you can feel very confident that those knots are going to stay. The other brand that I really, really like is a brand called Stretch Magic. Now, you can find Stretch Magic just about at any craft store, bead store, wherever. Stretch Magic comes in lots of sizes, but the sizes that we carry here in our store are the 0 0.5, the 0.7, and the 1 millimeter. So they go from smallest, medium, to largest. The 0.5 I use a lot, and if you watch my videos, you know that I use this in almost every ring band that I do. The 0.5 is really, really great for smaller size beads. You can use any kind of bead on it, but it's better for lightweight projects, okay? So fire polish beads, anything that are going to be a smaller bead and have a smaller bead hole. The 0.7 is kind of like your all-around stretch cord. You can pretty much put anything on the, the 0.7. When I'm making a bracelet, a lot of times the 0.7 is what I'm going to use. Um, the one millimeter is going to be best for bigger and larger, heavier beads, heavier gemstones, things like that, because it is a lot thicker. Now, I will tell you, the way to decide which stretch cord to use is you want to use the stretch cord that will fit the best through the size bead hole you're using. Um, and that is kind of like the best rule of thumb. So you want it to pretty much take up a good bit of the hole. So I'm actually going to show you a project today that I've done with it, just a simple stretch bracelet, and I want to show you how I actually make the knots, because a lot of people ask that. They don't feel secure and understand how to tie it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm going to be showing you with these newer beads that we got into the store this week that I thought were really, really cute, and they were very um, summery. So I'll show you that. Um, but stretch cord is really great to work with. And you have to understand that it is a stretch cord. It's a man-made material, and over time it is going to deteriorate, and it's going to break. But if you've done it correctly, and all the, the little karmas of the planet are with us, you know, there's no sharp edges on the beads, um, you know, somebody's not super rough with their bracelet, then anything made with stretch cord is going to last you, you know, a little while. It's going to last a good while. Um, you know, whereas if you, uh, you know, if you don't tie it correctly or, you know, somebody's going to be really rough with it, it's not going to last them a while. And I always try and tell people that, um, especially somebody who comes in and wants me to make them a stretch cord 
bracelet or anklet or whatever. So let me show you how I do the knots on okay, my stretch so board. Here is a nice little array of some new beads that we got in this week. And I love, this is called the spring green color. I just loved this green. Uh, so I made me a quick just stretch bracelet so I could go ahead and wear these. And basically all I've done is I've strung a spacer a four millimeter bicone, a spacer, and then a big bead, and so forth and so forth. So when I get ready, and oh, also, I have used the one millimeter stretch magic because this is a heavier bracelet and it fills up the hole, um, almost fill, completely fills up the hole of that bead. So that is why I have used that. So I'm gonna start out and I'm going to take my cords and I'm just going to cross them like an X. All right, the one on this left-hand side over here is gonna go under the cord on the right. So it's gonna go under this one. All right, now I'm gonna take this cord now, it was the right, it's on my left. I'm going to make the X shape here and then I'm gonna take the this one and I'm gonna go under once and under twice and I'm going to pull that just like that. All right, again, I'm going to make an X shape. I'm gonna go under once, under twice, and pull. And then I'm gonna pull this. I'm gonna really be rough with it and I'm gonna pull it because number one, I wanna make sure that that knot is not going to come out. But number two is I'm gonna make sure that this doesn't break on me. There's nothing more embarrassing for somebody to be trying on something at your booth or in your store and then put it on and it break the first time they try it on. So I always do that um, just to give it a good go at it. Now, if you want, you can take and put a dab of super glue or a dab of um, E6000 on there, but it's with my experience, and I've been beading for 16 years now, it's my experience that if you've tied these correctly, they are not going to come off. And if you're lucky, sometimes your knot will go up inside your bead and you don't have to worry about it so that when you actually put it on, you have a really cute bracelet that you don't have to worry about clasps. Now, these are really great for somebody who um, has trouble with their, um, you know, maybe has arthritis or something like that. But you can see how quick and easy that was. Now, I also wanted to show you how I took and made just a really simple pendant using one of these white beads here. This is just, you know, the beads on the head pin. And then I've made a little smaller version of it just by putting the four millimeter crystal on top to make a set of earrings. So there's lots of fun things that you can do with these new beads. And I've got, um, you know, we got a really pretty uh, like marine blue, then a sapphire blue color, um, a lilac, the white that you've seen, and then the spring green, and then this minty green. So we got lots of new colors so on I the website. So I hope you were able to learn today some of the differences in your stretch cords, and then it maybe gives you a little bit more confidence to try using stretch cord going into the future. The great thing about stretch cords is when you make a bracelet, it's pretty much a one size fits most, unless somebody has a very, very tiny wrist or a very, very large wrist. Um, so that is the great thing about that. Um, we do have all the stretch cords as well as the beads you've seen today on my website, which is off the beadedpathbeadstore.com. And just to give you a heads up, this coming weekend, okay, so what, let's see, what day is that? Um, uh, the 26th and 27th, I think, or 27th and 28th, but basically this Friday and Saturday of July 2017, you are going to be able to go to offthebeadedpathbeadstore.com, shop with us, and put in the coupon JULY, J-U-L-Y, and you'll be able to get 25% off of your total purchase on that. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <music>